Hi, this is Scott Garibay, and today we're going to talk about Dungeons & Dragons. We're going to talk about Call to Netherdeep. We're going to talk about Dritz do Erden, and we're going to talk about Varen Thelis, the Gen Z, the Gen Z Ritz, Dritz do Erden. All right, let's get it all the way through. All right, so one, I, I cannot express my joy how much fun I'm having with Call to Netherdeep. Uh, there's some stuff I don't like in the book, but I've been literally like carrying it around like a toddler carry around around a uh, security blanket. I just constantly have it in my hands, and I have all these um, uh, sticky notes in, in the in the on the black page. Uh, if you just turn the outer you know hardback cover of the book open, there's these black pages, and I just you know put in sticky notes into those pages and carry the book around me and just scrawl notes constantly. Like every every page, I got like three different notes, right? for what I'm trying to remember and understand for, for what is important about the adventure. Right. Um, and by the way, I don't run the event. I'm not like, Oh, I'm going to call run called to nether deep. I've already used content out of call to nether deep in my existing ongoing, uh, D 5e efforts, like, uh, my games that are running and I have all kinds of different D 5e stuff running right now. I have one shots. I have an ongoing, uh, short campaign, um, I also have fifth edition campaigns that I'm player in, and I've found ways to insert content from D and D advent- official adventure books into other dungeon masters' content into other dungeon masters' worlds. Right? Like, and I, I've gotten quite good at this. Right? I, like, these books are important to me. They sit on my shelf, and I want them everywhere where I'm touching D and D five e. Right? So let's talk about Varanthelis. So Varanthelis is a really important non-player character in Call to Netherdeep. Um, By the way, if you care, uh, spoilers for Call to Netherdeep. All right. So Varanthelis is found at Bazozan, okay? And who is Varanthelos? He is a lawful good. That's important. Lawful good drow commander, right? So he's a high-end, like, think of him as a, like a, a lieutenant, like a commissioned officer at Bazozan. Bazozan is a city that is in Zorhas, okay? So Zorhas is uh, an area of Wildmount. So, so Exandria is the world, Wildmount is the continent, okay? Zorhas is the region, and that is controlled by the Kryn Dynasty, which is this good-aligned... Um, drow queen who worships the Luxon. And the Luxon is the official um, religion of Zorhas. And Zorhas is really fascinating too because Zorhas, I'm starting to understand Zorhas. I think I didn't really understand it when I read Exandria to Wildmount. So basically, Dwendalia is like, oh, here's a bunch of, you know, castles, right? There are no castles in Zorhas, right? There are mastodons that roam these open plains and nomadic tribes of monsters just hunt them. And every now and then you'll you'll hit like a, a cool city or village or town. But generally Zorhas is like live, you know, on the land and the and the villages and the towns and the cities are much less grand because they don't like to stay in one place in Zorhas, right? So it's, it's really different flavor than Duandalia. So Varenthelus is in Bazozan. Bazozan is essentially on a hellmouth, right? It's like it's a place where all these demons are coming up through these different gates. And basically, Varenthelus is a Zorhas commander whose job is to stay in Bazozan and hold back the demons from overflowing Zorhas, right? And so basically it's this area where problems, you know, frequently just pop out and you know rear their ugly head and horrible things happen. But Varenthelos, Thelis. He um, he is a commander of the Aurora Watch, right? And he's lawful good, which is super awesome. He's drow, which is super awesome. He throws down. His stat block is amazing. He's actually a real predator. Like he matters, right? He's he is uh, he is a lawful good drow that can put the smack down when he needs to. That's Dritsto Orden by any other measure, right? Now, why does Varenthelos matter? Well, if you're a boomer, or if you're a Gen X like me, you care about Dritsto Orden. If you're a millennial or a Gen Z, you don't give two rats about Dritsto Orden, right? Because it's not your generation. You never saw him in a show. He, you know, he's just, he's not famous, right, anymore. He's just a, some crusty old relic from Dungeons & Dragons, right? 
Well, Matthew Mercer, because he's a freaking genius, right, is like, why don't we make a Gen Z Dristo Orden? And that's exactly what Varanthelis is. So Varanthelis is sitting in called the Netherdeep, making um, old D&D relevant for millennials and Gen Zs, right? Because nobody cares about Dristo Orden except boomers and Gen Xs, right? But Dristo Orden is legit cool, right? And Varanthelis has all the cool of Dritzo Orden now. And now is what matters. Then doesn't matter anymore. That's my opinion. What do you think? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know in the comments below. Please consider liking and subscribing and have a wonderful millennium.